Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lee. I'm Boof. And today, we have bison behind us. If you can see them, where are they? right over there. <laughs> Today we went to Prairie, hmm, Payne's Prairie, Payne's Prairie National Preserve. It is an absolute beautiful place and we're going to enclose some photos of everything that we've saw. It has been amazing so far. And we've only been here like 20 minutes. <laughs> We first walked out to the observation tower to get some views around of the prairie and now we're going to walk a couple of trails and see what kind of photos we can find. But we wanted to take you along with us. So come along and while you're looking at our beautiful slideshow, we'd like to tell you the story of our day. It started out, first of all, this trip was supposed to happen on what, Monday? Monday. It's Friday. <laughs> One thing after another between Kitsy being sick and us needing to do some stuff around the house and then the weather, we've put off the trip until today, but man, the weather's perfect for it. It's amazing out here. So as you check out our slideshow, hear all about our trials and tribulations. So we got up this morning and the roofers were already at the house to start demolition of the old roof to install the new one. Uh, so, of course, the dogs were up bright and early because they started banging on the roof. And we thought we had everything put together and ready to go. So, all packed up. Cameras, vlogging camera, everything. We're out the door like a flash. One slight problem. We forgot one little pesky thing and had to run back into the house. Well, we're still learning our new house. And we have learned that the door from the garage to the kitchen, you have to really make sure that thing closes. So it turned out that we weren't the only things running out the door this morning. All of the dogs decided they were going to do the same. Thanks to my wife's quick feet, she was able to snatch up our Maggie, who is the darter of the group. Mind you, in order to do this, I had to drive down the road with both doors on the truck open, trying to lure her. While I, at home, snatched up Kitsy and Scruffy who were lingering in the front yard because that was whole new territory for them and they wanted to inspect that before going on beyond that. Thankfully, neither one of the cats got out. Happy to report. And we were able to get on the road only a few minutes behind schedule. It took us about two hours to get here from where we're at, mm -hmm. but a beautiful drive here, a really beautiful drive, minus the accident on the interstate that brought it down to one lane and we had the detour. We just off-roaded it. It was worth it. <laughs> so we're going to stop and eat some lunch here in a little bit and we'll check back in with you and let you know what we found. Okay, so we weren't going to vlog while we were walking, but we are at the Sweetwater Animal Preserve or Nature Preserve and we're stopped at... We did at, switch places. We did. <laughs> and we stopped at this little place, uh, this little pavilion to sit at and look in the water at what is currently stalking us. He keeps getting closer and closer and closer to us. He started out on the other side. Now he's not a big guy. He's probably, I don't know three what you foot, think. maybe. Two or three feet. He's little. And he's about, I'd say 10, 15 feet away from us right now. About 10. Look at him. He's just like, I am about to eat you and you don't even know it. He's like, I'm a ninja. I'm a water ninja. <laughs> <laughs> and we've seen, he's probably our, the fifth one we've seen. Yep, since we've been one. out here and uh one big kahuna the one guy we saw was almost 10 feet he was huge massive but we have our sunning hats on and cameras out and we are just having a blast so funny story we each have these hats she took hers off at the moment but we each have these hats we couldn't get them to stay on because <laughs> the wind was blowing so much <laughs> So, thanks to our handy dandy britches. <laughs> it's funny, but we each wore a pair of pants that have tied uh, strings around the waist. So, uh, we just worked it through the hat. Yeah. And keep Voila. the hats from blowing off. It was kind of ingenious, if I do say so myself. It was very, very ingenious. It was props to her on the thinking of that ideal. And this guy, he's still. He's stalking us. Guys. You like dudes. Y'all just don't even know. I'm hungry and you look like you taste like chicken. <laughs> Still out at the Sweetwater Nature Preserve, wild horses. What? 
it. Don't do it. Think I can grab him? No, I think we should leave him alone. Maybe if we just walk away, he won't do it. You got, you got so much to live for, little buddy. Yeah, he wants to grab that ball. Don't do it. Oh! Oh! Probably just stunned for a minute. I'm hoping so. Poor little guy. So guys, we've seen seven alligators, wild horses, an assortment of birds, bison. turtles, bison, mm. one turtle committed suicide potentially. Mm. We hope not. We're going to say no. We're going to say no for the sake of him. We're going to say no. This is my red, it's... this is my redneck look. <laughs> not redneck look. Redneck look. Not redneck look. Sorry. And guys, thanks so much for coming along with us. Hope you've enjoyed the slideshow. We have had fun bringing it to you. And it's been nice just to get out of the house for a change. We've been working so much on the house. It feels good to get out in this beautiful weather. Red Nick. <laughs> Props for our $2.99 Ikea hats. Hello. And our nifty straps that we pulled from our pants. Free ties. Guys, we'll catch you guys on Wednesday. Bye. Thanks, everybody. She just smacked my hat. Bye. You're going to toodles? Toodles. You're and walking home.